For this project, you'll need some felt in varying colours, some material, some scissors, some threads, a 5 inch hoop, the templates and some needles. Here's a quick montage of me colouring in the design and trying to decide which colour felts I was going to use for this particular project. Obviously, when you do yours, you can pick whichever ones that you like, but I was thinking sunny and vibrant, and these are the ones that I chose. Then you'll need to transfer your template design onto your felt. I use one of those erasable pens, it erases with air over time. There are many different ones, some that erase with water, some that erase with friction. Uh, I have got a friction pen on the side which works equally as well for this. Then on to cutting out your pieces. Then you'll need to position the nose, ears and cheeks of your cat face. This is an optional step, but I do like to put down a little bit of uh, felt glue on the back of my pieces in order to keep them in place while I sew them. You only need a little touch on each one and that will just help to keep it in place and stop things from moving around. It does dry clear, so if you do accidentally get some on your piece, uh, don't worry too much. Try and wipe as much of it off and then it will dry clear. Now you need to sew around your piece. You have to pick some threads that are going to either match or contrast with the bits that you are sewing on and then you just stab stitch all the way around the edge of it. If you want to miss this part out and just go with the glue then that's good but do be aware that your pieces won't be as secure and I quite like the look that the stitches give to the finished piece. I added some beads and sequins to my final piece because I quite like the look of it and I am a magpie. Now comes the part where you choose your backing fabric. I like to lay my piece on top of the different fabrics that I can choose from and obviously you can see here that some would go but they're just a little bit iffy. Um, so I try a different tack, some different ones and this one looks just about perfect. I decided to be a little bit extra and paint my hoop. So I painted it with some um, deco paint, it's PBO deco paint. 
So this is a little yellow colour that's going on here now. I will give this two coats and let it dry and then I will varnish it. I've positioned my fabric into a spare hoop while the other one dries and I'm stab stitching the piece around onto the middle of the fabric. The piece has now been mounted in its final hoop and it looks quite pretty. Here it is, sewn on, and now I'm thinking my magpie pops up and says, you need sequins in there. So here are my collection of sequins. So I'll pick some out and just put a few on the piece so that I can sew them on in kind of a random but planned way. I'm now going to trim down the edges of the fabric because I'm going to sew around in a running stitch so I can pull this into the center. So leave enough for you to be able to do that, but just snipping off those corners so that you've not got too much bulky fabric to deal with when you're sewing. And so here you can see I've gone all around with my running stitch, pulled it in and fastened it off so it looks quite neat. And now if you can leave, you can leave it like that if you want to. But what I want to do now is to add a piece of felt that goes onto the back that finishes it off just perfectly. So tracing my circle onto a piece of felt now it's going to be smaller than the back of the piece just because i don't want it to be baggy when it goes on and when you pull the stitches taut then it will tighten up and give you a nice effect on the back of your piece And here it is all finished. I've sewn on the back and it does look very neat now, all around the edge with a stab stitch. And you've got like a tight drum effect. And here's your finished piece. 
shining with sequins if you've added them on. I certainly did. I hope you enjoyed this and if you did then please pop a like and subscribe onto my channel and do pop back again. There are templates for this and there is a link in the description so pop along there and download those if you would like to. Ta-ta for now, thank you!